Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and I have a rather large Scentsy haul. This has to do with, it's my second warehouse haul. It's a um, clearance haul and some other things that I picked up. I am gonna leave my fan on. I hope it's not too much of a distraction, but it is kind of warm in here. Um, it was cold when I left for work this morning and then the sun came out and the house is hot. So anyway, let's go through what I ordered. So I did print out um, the bundles. So, um, oh gosh, how am I gonna do this? My desk is covered. Let's go ahead and go through this first. So these are, um, these are just some random things that I picked up. I always like stocking up on my fragrance flowers, especially when the season is starting to turn to the next one. So I picked up a whipped vanilla lavender. I picked up a pineapple mango. And I grabbed a blue grotto. So some just nice basic ones that I thought um, you know, if I give them for gifts would go over pretty well. Um, let's see. Picked up some um, 15 watt bulbs because I didn't have any and I had a customer ask for a 15 watt bulb and I didn't have any. So pick some of those up for Christmas. Um, my mother-in-law really likes the sugar scrubs so I wanted to pick up some sugar scrubs for her and I don't know how often they're gonna be coming back. So I picked up hibiscus pineapple. I picked up a Luna. And I grabbed a cozy cardigan. So that's at least three years worth of gifts, right? I have been on a kick of picking up pods. These look a little like they're turning a touch yellow, which they do, um, and that's okay, but this scent did not come back this year, so this is Bright Cider Life. I believe it didn't come back. Anyway, so I picked up some more pods in that. I have them stored in here, the baskets three apart like that, or apart like that. That's for those. And I picked up some room sprays. blue grotto because you never know just like I had that one person buy one off of me um, out of the the bathroom because she liked it so much so blue grotto Pacific mist I do really enjoy that scent bonfire beach my new love this year kukui and coconut which is the one she bought off of me a cocoa lime and a berry bright so picked all those up. I don't want the video to be too long, but you know, I'm usually pretty fast about things anyway. Now I didn't do as much damage in the bar situation as April, but I did calculate, I did order like 115 bars or something like that. So I did do some damage. Um, now, more pods that I picked up that are up here. I picked up Happy Holidays, and I actually like this one. Plus, my daughter um, really likes to have pine tree in her car during um, the holiday season. I picked up a cran orange, cranberry orange cider. Oh, another Happy Holidays. I'm hoping to kind of get this cleared off here. I picked up a Very Merry, oh, and two Very Merry Cranberry. This one's kind of sad this one didn't come back. I am kind of new to this scent because I was so hooked on Cranberry Garland, but I warmed all that last year. So the Very Merry Cranberry, I was like, oh, this is really good. And then of course it didn't come back. So it is what it is. Um, this is for Lex for her car. It's an iced pine pack. I picked up three scent circles in Dancing Sugar Plums. That did not come back this year. I wanna be able to, to at least try and stack some things back on the desk. Um, this was just in there and it sounded good, Harvest Blessings. 
Um, lay to the game on that. It looks like the oils, you know, definitely saturate the, the cardboard. I picked up Windowsill Breeze in the Scentsy Fresh. I know my daughter loves Scentsy Fresh. I use it on some things, but I notice when I spray my bedding, it kind of leaves a, a film to it. So I'm not exactly sure what that's about. Um, and then I picked up a Fiji Flower in the Scent Soft. We'll drop those in there. And the last non-wax is Winterberry Apple Tea Hand Cream. I love this, it's sealed. I have this in my purse. It is so, so good. I wish it wasn't like a temporary thing. It is so good, or a LTO or whatever it was. All right, so let's put that down. Let's get started on the wax I picked up. I have some individuals, I don't exactly know what all is individuals. I know I bought these, there's five of these and it's part of the Chase Rainbows. It's in the catalog, I know, but like everyone says, why not pick it up a touch cheaper, right? So this is a really, really good one. I do have a lot of lemon in my club or in my, in my wax collection, whether it's Scentsy or Vendor. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to be clubbing any lemon just because I have so much lemon in general. Um, I picked up 10 of the Turning Red. I do really like this. I know it has kind of a, a cherry note or something to it, but I do really like it. Wow, look out. They, it looks like a little lighter than it usually is. So anyway, okay. Now, as far as the bundles, this bundle, I picked up a lot more. So this is the Bake That bundle and it did sell out. I, in total, had nine of those bundles. So the first one was brownie batter. And it's, it's a chocolate wax. I'm not huge on chocolate, so I am going to try and figure out a way to blend it. Um, custard apple. Custard apple is pineapple, sugar cane, and mango which seems kind of weird because it gives the essence of a custard apple, but yet there's no apple in the notes. So it seems a little weird, but anyway, so custard apple, a sweet plum pastry, which I do love. See, I would think that either bring it back and it bring back my bar or, you know, like in some of these holiday harvest collections, they are putting some of the old bars um, in it back into the collection. Uh, why can't they do that with sweet plum pastry? Throw it in a harvest collection. Oh, it's so delicious. And I bet you it would sell like rock stars. All right, huckleberry apple pie. This one is sweet apple huckleberry topped with creamy vanilla. And it is delicious. No, I have not worn these. They're all sitting in boxes on my floor right now like this box right there. Yeah. Okay. And then the last one is lemon coconut chiffon. Love this scent. I have it in my club. It's lemon custard layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. And it's divine. Absolutely divine. I love it. I'm glad I have a lot of that. And that is a lemon that is in my club because it's so good. So now, as far as the rest, I think the rest falls under, this is too many bars to fall under that. Oh, there's some odd ones in here. Okay, I got two, I know, I know what you're thinking. I got two spring forward. Yeah, it, it's, it's floral. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll see, it's got a, a green note to it. Did you guys get a green note from that one? And then from the hookah collection, I think that's what they call it. Um, it's the quiet Clementine and I got two of those. Okay. That's odd. It smells kind of cologne. -y. I mean, if it is the hookah collection, then 
maybe that's why it has like a smoky cologne kind of you know note to it okay that one's different let's see i think this one all right coastal strawberry i've never smelled this one before so i only picked up one because i heard it has kind of a green note to it okay and it does i do I don't personally think this smells like an authentic strawberry. It smells, I mean, it smells like a strawberry, but I think it's more green than strawberry, in my opinion. Let's see. Ugh, now my lips taste like it. All right, the rest of these might be part of this. Okay, so I, this is the farmer's collection. So A, or no, Brayburn. I've heard mixed reviews on Brayburn. So red apple with a luscious assortment of tropical fruit. Enjoy a springy pop of whipped sugar and creamy vanilla. Oh, I guess coastal strawberry was in this group too. Okay, this doesn't smell like apple. I'm almost glad that I, I was voting kind of heavy for this because it sounded like it'd be a good apple scent but I'm not smelling apple. Yeah, that's odd. I'm not uh, not smelling apple in that. Alrighty. A is for apple. I believe I've got some sitting right there. So A is for apple is sweet, tart, Granny Smith and Macintosh notes. Offer a bite of pure am apple bliss. And I do think it's a great apple. I think it's a good combination of the two different apples, the Macintosh and the Granny Smith. So good. Okay, white grapefruit. Uh, I don't know. Turn the other cheek or cheek with polished white grapefruit and a hint of fruit nectar. This one's kind of bizarre. It's really green too. I hope this whole collection isn't green. All right, next one, Watermelon Wave. A ripe, ride a riptide of watermelon, sparkling citrus, and a tart Mexican lime. I, I mean, it's good. But I think Sensi honestly has better watermelons than that one, so we'll see. This one, I don't know, sweet cucumber. Sweet cucumber is uh, fresh apple blossom, green melon, sugared citrus, mingled with a splash of cucumber water. I think this would be a headache inducer. It is definitely a, a, a green scent, but I mean, it says cucumber water, but I don't know. I don't know. It's a green scent. Sun ripened berry, which I just think's okay. I wouldn't say it was my favorite scent of the month they had. A fresh scoop of orange sherbet or sorbet sprinkled with sun ripened raspberries and strawberry sugar. To me, I almost wish it had just a hint more of that orange sorbet in it to almost like put it over the top. But I think this one mixed with some kind of an orange scent, maybe, um, you know, oodles of orange, oodles of orange or some of the other orange might bring the orange out in it. So it's good. Um, Mad for melon. I know I don't like this one. It's juicy honeydew melon fresh from the vine is adorned with freesia and wild poppy. Gives me a headache each time, so I'm not even going to smell it. Um, next one is Pretty and Plum. And this one is Red Plums Get Pastry Perfect with Black Coconut and Sweet Cream. Oh, this one's nice, but there's a spice in here. I don't know what Black Coconut is, but there's a definite um, deep spice in this. Maybe it's the red plum. I'm not sure. Kind of adding a, a spicy note. That one will be fun to warm. 
And then the last one, which I have in my club, is Red, White, and Berry Pie. Love this scent. Oh, a slice of ripened cherry and red, a slice of ripened cherry and red raspberry baked with vanilla. You think it's a pie, but anyway, I love this scent. Um, I know it's a cherry scent, but I really, really like that scent. So um, that one's in my club. So, and then I only got one warmer. I have not taken it out only because I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the warmer yet. It's one I've been looking at. When, when it was a warmer of the month, I was like, I really want that, but I couldn't justify the price. Typical for me. I'm debating on taking this one to work, but I'm not 100%. So that's why it's still in the box. And it's called the Wild Desert. And it's the one that has, you know, the the warmer back here. And then you can put plants or whatever in these front two. So I don't know if I'm going to keep the plants in it or if I'm going to put like pens in it or whatever. I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do with that. So until I do, I'm just going to leave it in the box. So I have one more haul. Look what came today. So it's just going through some scents um, that are, that I got. I'll just give you a sneak peek. We're not going to do it in this video, but I got the testers instead of getting the scents. It was a personal decision because they charge us the full $6 price to get the scents early. So it's 10 cents for 60 bucks. I would rather get it on a bundle and save. So I got these. I'm gonna sniff out the new scents um, and go through that with you. I got one of the harvest. Um, so we're gonna go through all that in a different sniff sesh in another video. So um, keep your eyes out for that. I don't know if I'm gonna record it tonight. We'll see. So thanks for hanging out with me. That's. I, I'm done with my Sensi hauls for at least a little bit. I have way too much wax now that it's in boxes because I don't know where to put it all. So thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.